crews were all over Nashville the last year working on a movie starring Gwyneth Paltrow and country star Tim McGraw. Lots of our Nashville friends are included in this movie too. The movie finally opened nationwide this month to great reviews. We had an opportunity to hear all about the movie from the big stars. Nashville's Kelly Cantor left the hospital early this morning. You'll remember the country music star was arrested a few months ago for drunk and disorderly conduct. I found it very haunting. And, you know, the characters were so complicated in such a good way. Like, everybody's so real. We can't wait to get on the road again. We can't wait for the tour to start. Kelly's feeling better than ever. The story surrounds Kelly Canner, a veteran in the country world, going on tour with two younger artists. Would you mind signing this for me, please? If you have any advice for a young artist such as myself, I'd love to hear oh, it. Oh, I have some advice. I've just been a fan of yours since I was a little girl. You can't help but have people fall in love and uh, disaster on the road. I want Bo to open for me. I've already got an opener for you. Child Stan. You're going to let this prom queen get up on stage. Patsy Cline played here. Don't worry, Bo. I have no intention of stealing your invisible career. She wants to be a star. And he just wants to be an artist. And that's a huge difference between the two of them. If you want to sing those country pop songs, you go right ahead. But you're better than that. So you're going to be opening for the Looney Tunes. They need to lock that one up and throw away the key. She's not crazy. You know, he's trying to be the guy that's helping Kelly because she's this, such this big star to him. Well, what do you think? I think I'm Kelly Catter and I'm breaking the law! There's some great music in it, and Gwyneth and Garrett and Leighton are doing some great singing in it. But when it gets down to it, the, the, the relationships between the, the four lead characters are pretty incredible. I could write good lyrics if I wanted to. Maybe I just haven't been inspired by anyone yet. You ever think about that? Why don't y'all just sleep together? Get it <laughs> over with, Jesus. One foot on the narrow way and one foot on the left. Tell us who is your idol? Kelly Kanner and Jesus Christ. You and Jesus Christ, who'd have thought? I love her. Do you think Charles Stanton is pretty? Oh, come on. I think James and Kelly are like their soulmates, but they've just gone wrong and they don't communicate well enough to get through the hurdles without it being really damaging. What's going on? That's my song. Was it right for you? It was too, I don't know. Too good, too young. What? Give me the ball. Yes, and I broke the ball. She's not getting any better. Yeah. I'm gonna wear you down. I'd never played guitar before and, you know, definitely never sang for crowds. I knew I wanted to get there. I mean, I wasn't going to just try and have a hand double come in and be playing the chords. I'm really lucky that I've had the chance to, to be in the studio as much as I have before this because I can't even imagine having to learn how to play the guitar and learn how to sing and do your voice a certain way because, you know, that's, that was a lot of work for him. The music was also a huge draw to the movie. I worked a lot on strengthening my voice and doing a lot of singing lessons, and I learned how to play guitar. Yeah, on the outside, I look for you. You didn't know what to expect, you know, with, with the singing and everything, and uh, it's just really incredible. Music really does make the movie, it really makes the story, but it's also the icing on the cake. The story is beautiful and doing the scenes and, and really, really acting is is uh, is the beauty of all this. It's not just some musical, it's it's really incredible movie. Nobody really is a hero, nobody's a winner. But you go on this journey with everybody and you really, really feel for these people and you really get invested emotionally. I'm stronger than all this, you know that, right? If you haven't had a chance to check out Country Strong by now, you absolutely should see it in theaters soon. We still have lots more ahead, including a visit with a new artist from St. Louis who is off to a fast start touring and hitting up tons of radio stations every month. We'll be right back. Hey, this is Ken Dimash, and we're going to be talking about our new song, Ding Dang Darn It, right here on Inside Music Row.